John Mendez here, enough of our little how-tos. We were doing pilotage in stunning sunshine and beautiful Devon weather. As you can see, it's turned into a typically English Sunday afternoon. A little bit damp, a little bit wet. Our passage, we're off to Dartmouth, went reasonably well. Sea conditions weren't bad, wind was behind us most of the way. However, on arrival, the visitors closed right in and we've got this beautiful drizzle. So what was to be a beautiful sunshine entrance into Dartmouth for you has become actually a proper pilotage exercise using the stuff that we prepared. Arriving at Dartmouth, one comes in from the east, we were coming from Weymouth, and there's a couple of cardinal markers and then the entrance to the harbour itself. And then having done that part, we need a little bit more detail. So when one looks at the actual harbour chart, I plan this expecting sunshine, but we've got, these are the cardinals here, and I laid out some bearings and some waypoints taking us in. Uh, and there's a couple of little sector lights on here and because of the level of the viz we might well see those which will be quite interesting as well. They allow you to see where you are in relation to your intended heading. A great little aid. So we're going to run this for you uh, and we've arrived a little bit late because the weather's been a bit challenging and we'll actually show you a little bit in the dark as well as the evening closes in. As someone who likes to be prepared I've got a little pilotage plan to hand. I've got them drawn from most places that I've been to and it just really mirrors what we saw on the chart. So pair of South Cardinals, a green, coming up to a sectored light, second sectored light and then the bearing into the harbour itself. And all we really need is a bearing and a distance. So we've got a bearing and a 270, distance 0 0.8 and then we've got a bearing of 285, 0 0.5 etc etc all the way in. These funny little lines here are where the depth changes. So I've just got a little bit of extra to give me an idea of where I am. The only thing I need to know is the height of the tide now and that depth becomes real life confirming all the time that I'm happy. This obviously works by day or night. We're pretty claggy this afternoon so it's daylight but miserable. We're going to run it by day and then we're going to come back out and run it by night just so you can see the difference. So one of the nice things about having my pilot is pre-planned is I don't have to desperately slow down. Coming up on my first mark now, got my little pilotage plan in front of me. Heading nice, 270. I'm doing around about 15 knots at the moment. Boat's quite stable, weather's behind me. And as we come past, I'm just glancing down at my log, and now I've got to add half a mile. So here we go. Just coming up on it now. And all I'm doing is holding my compass heading glancing at my log, got my depth information, it's really deep here, not an issue at all at the moment, and gradually the next mark's coming out the murk. Just coming up on my second South Cardinal, now I'm going to come round to 285, so little turn to starboard. Again, I've got it on the plotter, but in reality, if my passage plan and pilotage are done well, the plotter's just a nice bonus. Coming round now onto my 285 and through the loom I'm just starting to see the shape of a green pointy poi ahead of us. Keeping my speed pretty much the same, don't need to slow yet, strangely enough in this weather we're the only boat. And at this point when I get to the green I need to start thinking about harbour speed limits, VHF channels, who do I need to tell I'm here, might be no one if it's small but there might be regs, always checking the almanac. As I come up now, we're going round to 325, and I'm looking for the loom of the sector light. It's a really bright one. It's an isophase light, that means it's on for as much as it's off. It's a three second light, so I've got a second and a half on, second and a half off. Still doing the same speed, haven't got to the speed limit yet. And at the moment, the light's green. That means I'm a little bit too far to starboard, so I'm just going to let the boat very gently come across the port. I'm looking for the white sector. Gradually out the loom as well, I'm seeing the entrance to the harbour. 
and it's pretty miserable. So you can see that we're in the green sector and you can also see over my shoulder we're really close to the rocks and that's confirmed by the height of tide as well or the depth of water really. We got two metres of tide, we're on a 10 metre contour so around about 12 metres and I've just gone under that which tells me not only do I need to go to port on the green light but the depth's telling me the same thing. So as I come to port now you'll see that light go white which will put us in the right sector. And I'm only going slowly now, just so you can see the effectiveness of the light. So as I come over the port, light's still showing green, depth's going up, which is good. Still green. There goes the white sector. Now I'm in the white sector. So if I followed that light, that would take me all the way into the next bearing. But I'm just going to keep going to port for a moment to show you what happens if we go too far to port. You can just now see that the light's gone red, so we're too far to port. If I go back to starboard now, we'll see it come white. That's the sector that we're looking for. Just coming to the edge of the red sector, it will go back onto white, which is what we're looking for. There's the white sector, and that's giving us exactly our approach in. Now this harp is quite clever. It has a second sector light, on the second part of the approach. I'll just talk you through the pilotage plan and then we'll show you that. So I've just eased the power down. We've just done this section here coming into this isophase, three seconds, red, white and green. We showed you it green, then we went across to the white, then all the way across to the red. Isophase is just a posh way of saying half on, half off. So three seconds, one and a half on, one and a half off, making three in total. Then we're gonna turn it onto 295 and we've got a similar light, another red, white, green. This one just flashes every two seconds and a flash is quite simple. It just means that it's a little flash and more dark. So in that two second bit, we've got a bit of light and a bit of dark. Dark's more than the white, two seconds in total. So as we approach, we'll see the red sector first, then the white, and then I'll just go a bit far to show you the green and that will take us up and then we'll be in Dartmouth proper and then we'll just follow the river up. If I use one of these little hand bearing compass, I can bring this up to my eye and if I look down at 295 and then look up, bang on, there's the light. Fantastic little aid to working out what you're looking for. And if there's a multitude of lights, it allows you to pick the right one. Now if you remember, we were going to drive through the sector, so we've just seen the red, we're seeing the white, so I'm now going to come round on my 295, lights appearing on the bow, looking good. Glance at the compass, glance at my plotter, happy with both of those. 295 on the bow now. Ease the revs just a fraction. Steady speeds, good for this sort of thing. Have a look on my bearing, is it the one I want? Definitely is, very happy with that. And this one's doing a flash every two seconds. It's nicely white. If I went over to starboard now, it would go green. Went over to port, it would go red. White sector is what I'm looking for. Happy. So now it's got a little bit darker. And we just thought it would be really nice for you to see the sector lights, and some of the actual lights entering this little port, just so you get an idea of how to piece it together. And until you've done pilotage in the dark, I think most people are a bit intimidated by it. But actually, if you've got the right information, I prefer it because the lights tell you all the information that you need to know. Nowadays with a plotter, yes, it's made things much easier. But lights alone, little pilotage plan, you can get in and out of places really quite safely. When they're completely unlit, that's when it gets really fun. That takes a bit more practice. But this sort of stuff, worth getting used to, makes loads of places great to explore. So first time I said, I just had two South Cardinals. But at night, two South Cardinals this close together, how would you tell them apart? Well, on the chart it actually tells me the first one is six flashes and a long one every 10 seconds. And then the second one is six flashes and a long one every 15 seconds. So you can actually tell them apart by the, how quickly the lights flash. Now when I look at them, I look at the first one and it's doing six and a long one in 10 seconds. And that light is on, 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 
on and then a long flash. So it's quite specific. The second one, which I can just make out, because it's doing it over a longer time frame, the actual flashes are slightly more spaced as well. So there's lots of little clues. So going in the dark, the other thing we need to think about is our speed. So having come past the first South Cardinal, coming up on the second, I'm just going to start to ease the speed back. Simply it gives me more time to react. It's really important that I find the marks and they fit my plan, not I make them fit. So I need to double check that I'm happy before any change. So we're coming up here on our 270, coming round to 325. So as I turn, because I won't have to visit the mark initially, I need to get steady on the bearing, then think about finding the mark, Think about my hand bearing compass. At night, the centers are luminous. If I put a torch on it, it will then illuminate and show me exactly what I'm looking for. We're just coming up on our second cardinal. I've dropped the speed to about six knots. Nice stable platform. Sea conditions aren't too bad. Second one here is six and a long flash every 15 seconds. So there's gonna be a longer period of darkness after the flashes. The flashes themselves are all slightly longer and there's a little bit more dark in between. So here it comes up now. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's now the long one. And now if we kept counting, we get to 15 seconds before it would all start again. So the time refers to everything we see, light and dark. Coming around to our next heading, I'm going to use my little hand bearing compass, 285, bring it up to my eye, find 285, look gently above it, and there it is, there's the next mark, little green one, check on my pilotage plan, green one every five, four seconds of dark, on now, two, three, four, five, green again, right mark, in the right place. So we've approached on 285, happy with that. Got my green light on the bow, happy with that as well. As I come past, my next turn will be to starboard onto 325, and then we're looking for that sector light. We saw it briefly in the daytime, much better at night, stands out like a beacon. You can really see what you're doing. And also I've now just shone the torch on my little hand bearing compass, and it's now a little bit of illumination of itself. So as I come up on the green, I can start looking down my next bearing. 325, and I'm just making that out. It is just, but I'm just making that out. Here's the green. On, two, three, four, five, on. One every five. A flashing light, more dark than night. So just using my little hand bearing compass thing again, I love these things, I'm looking down 325 and it's pretty faint but I've got the green of the sector light, that tells me I'm approaching the green part so I need to go a little bit to port to pick up the white sector but naturally as I come in and turn we would see the green first so as I come round onto 325 I'm just going to edge probably 320 for a few moments just at this speed, don't need to go fast pick up the white sector and that would lead me beautifully up into the entrance to Dartmouth between the castles. Won't see any of that in the dark. Off to port we've got the red lateral mark and that's doing the lights as per the chart. Two every five, so if you want to count that. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So from the first flash to the start of the next group, five seconds, two flashes. And right up on the bow, we've got the ISO phase sector light. We're nicely in the white sector, so everything is good and happy here. We're on the right approach. Look down my hand bearing compass. I'm just picking out the red sector of the second light. It's just gone white, so I'm going to turn my boat onto that. 295 I'm looking for, coming around on the compass. Here we come. And this will take me right up into the fairway of Dartmouth. Works in the day, works in the night. And you can see the twinkling lights of Dartmouth behind. 
So we're pretty much safely into Dartmouth. You can see the lights behind me. That will lead us up to the pontoons right in the middle of town. I think we deserve a cup of tea or maybe something a little bit stronger. Hope you've enjoyed. Mm -hmm.